Hello everyone. In this episode, we're going to build on our previous episode's discussion about growth diagnostics. And we began looking at and seeing the different aspects of the decision tree to find out what the binding constraint might be for investment and entrepreneurship and hence growth. We're going to look at more details now of this work in practice. And so these um, 10 boxes at the bottom, which we um, have looked at, represent the final boxes of attention. And so if you want to look at the diagram, it, it is uh, those boxes from which no further arrows extend that are our 10 constraint categories with growth diagnostics. And they're pretty comprehensive, and many constraints fit quite well within these categories. And many that you might think of as, well, what about this one being missing, turn out to maybe not be a fundamental constraint area. Maybe they're pointing us to something else, or maybe they're an aspect of one of the other possible constraints. And here's an example. Um, I think it's um, um, maybe common, perhaps, for people to look at the constraints and say, well, wait a minute, I see natural disasters affecting um, developing countries quite, um, quite often. Earthquakes, cyclones, perhaps you might even think of the um, COVID um, pandemic. So natural disasters certainly pose immediate constraints. But, you know, if there are extended problems for um, investment and growth and, and development more um, broadly um, that, that follow, very possibly it's government failure that is at root here, not the initial disaster. So for example, it has taken Haiti many years to recover from an earthquake. And so that it maybe it's not just the earthquake, which of course hits many countries, <clears throat> Um, but the government's response and ability to respond and carry out um, recovery from the hurricane that has, uh, or, or, or earthquake in that case, that has um, caused the um, slow return to growth. Not the disaster itself beyond, the immediate, beyond its immediate impact. So this might point our, <coughs> our attention to government failure. <clears throat> There are quite a few other potential boxes that could be raised for consideration, um, but that are certainly debatable. And one of them is environment. You might think environment falls under a different um, category, but its importance leads us to give special attention to it. And it may not just be thought of as geography, certainly because other, um, you know, because unlike mountains, um, human influence on the um, climate, on the environment, is very strong. And that includes, of course, climate change, much of which is coming exogenously to the country, but also internal um, actions um, of uh, failure, for example, to regulate um, activities leading in agriculture, leading to salination of the soil, falling of water tables, and so on. Um, difficulties with pollution in cities. So that might be another box to consider. It's a matter of, of um, consideration. Um, inability to resolve conflict. You might consider this under some separate box. You might think that it has to do with poor institutions. Undoubtedly it does. It may be something you'd want to consider perhaps um, for something as a separate you know, 11th box, as it were. Social capital or cultural dimensions um, could be also important. It might be difficult to fit into some of the other boxes. In particular, a lack of trust, just a deep social lack of trust. This can do a lot of things, of course, and one is that it can damage opportunities for investment. Because if there's generally um, a norm and perhaps reasons for believing that you should only do business with people in your family. This may relate to lack of trust of people who are not outside your immediate circle. You know, this can greatly limit the set of possible partners 
who otherwise could be very productive as entrepreneurs and investors and, and um, um, able to grow um, businesses. And so um, thinking about such extensions and indeed to identify and evaluate in some basic way some other possible uh, boxes is a good um, discussion exercise, which I recommend as something that's really worth uh, doing. So we'll talk about that as well and examine more about growth diagnostics in practice in the next episode.